Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is Mr. Ramsey B, and welcome to Firefall Friday. We've got a patch going on. You guys kind of can't see it because, for some reason, the main part of the launcher window, including the patching bar down here, is not visible. I have no idea why. I'm using uh, the um, Open Broadcaster software. And maybe I'm doing something wrong, so if I am doing something wrong, please let me know. And, and you know, that'll be shiny. Uh, but we've got a patch for Firefall today, and I'm currently downloading it. I probably should have done this last night, but uh, whatever. Um, so we're going to go through the patch highlights real quick. Thanksgiving items are now available uh, until December 2nd. Uh, there are three new dynamic encounters, which is which is cool. Durability mechanic has been adjusted so the items no longer decay on use, but while in comment. Okay, that's cool. Bug fixes general. Several items for Thanksgiving. Horn of Plenty 5 pack. I don't know what that does. Turkey hack, hat, turkey beak. Hollow headdress and the gobbler. Don't know what the, any of those are, but we'll, we'll, we'll maybe we'll see some people going around. <clears throat> particle system has been optimized and is now able to display the same quantity of particles at low frame rates. For example, thumper cloud dust clouds don't clump together anymore. That's cool. Short bursts of visual effects such as muzzle flashes will no longer disappear when the frame rate drops below 15 to 20 frames per second. That's cool. Battle frames for the assault. The uh, tether fields activation sound has been uh, updated. Um, healing generator for the biotech healing generator visual effects did not despawn at the end of the ability okay I don't play a biotech well I do play a biotech but I don't play the accord biotech uh, for the accord biotech uh, fixed an issue with triage's triage's tooltip should now show should now be corrected dreadnought the mammoth here we go I don't use the teleport ability, but the ability will fail if the target, if it, teleport will fail if it places the player into an object or geometry. This will, this will still work as normal on players or enemy NPCs fix an issue or LGVs collided with, collide with Thunderdome. Okay, that's cool. Engineer, Accord Engineer, Bastion. Sounds good to play after firing. Okay, that's cool because that was really annoying. Hawk Raptor, open world. Okay, this is what I'm this is what I'm interested in right here. Added three new dynamic encounters: LGV riding challenge, LGV ambush, and the bandit cache. Yes. So pretty much, uh, the LGV ambush is you'll be driving along, riding along on your LGV. Do, 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 do. Vroom, vroom. Nice day. All of a sudden, there'll be like a little explosion because you ran over a mine. You get knocked off your LGV. And bandits are going to come and try and take your LGV from you. And you got you have to defend your property. you got to kill them. I don't know what happens if... Um, I don't know what happens if you lose. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you don't lose your bike. Um, like, suppose you, you have... One of the bikes from the Beta Christite event, or the, um, or any any of the you know the Locust or anything like that. I'm sure you don't lose the bike permanently, um, but because that would be kind of screwed up. Thumpers now lock in the Thumper group when started. Members of the Thumper group, even if they are no longer in the squad. Cool. May send the Thumper back. Receive rewards on completion players added in the squad during the thumping also receive rewards. This means Thumper Overner cannot cut out other players who've helped with the Thumper since the beginning, but also that new squad members can be added during the thumping will benefit as well. That's that's cool. That's a good thing. Any player may send up a Thumper that is 100% complete. That's awesome. So you can't troll people and send up their Thumper when it's like 10% complete and be an asshole just to take the thumping spot from someone. Uh, you can only send up a thumper that's not yours if it's 100%. Or if you're not in the squad or whatnot. 
<clears throat> added an ambient sound effects to the centaurs. Okay. All right. I, I, I like that. Open world bug fixes. This is for the random events. I'll fix an issue where the melting tornadoes could climb. Haven't come across that. <laughs> I can just imagine a tornado flying across the sky. Woo! Got to stand on top of a dropship to attack it. Uh, fix an issue where a Copa power supply sent an imprint spawner spawned in deep water. Yeah, no good. Fix an issue with the NPC audio in the first five minutes of the new user experience. Okay, well, we haven't done that. We're not going to do that because I don't want to delete my guy. At some point, I might make a new account or if they allow you to have another character, which I really hope that they do. It looks like the infrastructure is there to do it. They just haven't done it. Uh, that way, you know, you could see exactly uh, what the new new user experience is. Uh, fix an issue where a player becomes gl a glowing beacon of light at seemingly random times. Oh. <laughs> ah, excuse me, I'm I'm fighting off a cold at the moment. Fix an issue where the loot pinata was spawned indefinitely after pocket events. I haven't come across that either. I wish I had, because that would be freaking awesome. Free loot for doing nothing. Uh, fix an issue where the Centauri Foray Watchtower uh, retake was not giving rewards. Fix an issue where chosen stripe bringers in the high cliff Aries space would spawn in the ground. Yes, I have seen that, and my god, because if they're in the ground, they can still hurt you, but you can't do a damn thing to them. Uh, fix an issue where oil spill would not respond to arrow. Um, where oil spill would not respond to arrow when a bomb defusal Ares mission would fail. You know, I always thought that that was a thing, like, especially if there's a bomb at Thump Dump. Oil spill works at Thump Dump. So if the bomb goes off at Thump Dump, she's like, Oil spill, are you still there? Boss, hey, hey! Like all panicky, and no one responds. I always thought that that was a feature, as if to say that Oil Spill got, you know, that, that Oil Spill got killed. And that he had to respawn in, in the new you, just like, just like we do. Um, where are we? Fix an issue where resonators for the bomb diffuse areas would would partially be underground. Oh my god, that is so annoying when that happens. I've come across that a couple times. Because if it's more than 50% underground, you can't pick it up because you have to pick. The, the, the grab point is at the equator of the freaking resonator because it's a sphere, kind of. And... If it's un if the equator is under the freaking ground, you can't pick it up. It's really annoying. Renamed all thumping achievements to reflect the appropriate tier of thumpers available. <laughs> That's achievement stuff. Don't really care. No, I'm not an achievement whore. Um, fix an issue where terminal will send a message about the LGV being destroyed if the player dismounts. Okay, that's cool. The OGV during the race, he, the race, he should now use proper dialogue if the OVG is not destroyed. Fix an issue with... We ran across that last, last week, actually. Fix an issue where with force fields that were allowing enemy NPCs to pass through them. No Gouda. I, I didn't come across that, but apparently some people did. More fixes uh, to props and collisions around the world. Sweet. Instances. We haven't really done much and since bug flicks. Crafting. Oh, did they put in a new crafting thing? It's an issue where the claim button wasn't appearing for players in the molecular printer. Uh, fix an issue where component weight wasn't shown properly in the build preview. That's cool. Fix an issue where uh, construction sound was still playing when the manufacturing shot slots were full. Okay, that's just audio 
bugs. I, I don't really care about that. I mean, I do play with my sound on, and I love the sound and the music and all that. Um, it just really kind of doesn't bother me. A lot of the sounds of like like the weapon continuously sounding like it's firing even when it's not. Yeah, that bugs the heck out of me just because that's more. Ugh, excuse me, that's more of an annoying sound. Anything else? Let's see. Durability is no longer reduced on use. That's good. Uh, durability decays over time spent in combat. If a player's combat state is determined, or a player's combat state is determined by three different factors. Dealing damage, taking damage, and healing other players. Similar to how HKM's charge, a player is considered in combat if one of these conditions are met. If the player does not take any damage, deal any damage, or heal another player in 10 seconds, they are no longer considered in combat. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh. Patch notes. Get back down there. Okay, so it's good that they're defining what in is in combat and what is not. That's that's good. The rate of durability should remain the same for now. Although we expect that to change once the prestige and salvaging system system are implemented. Salvaging systems. I've been away from the forums and from the news for this game uh, because I've had a lot of other things going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, chain, the change to the durability was made to better accommodate the future prestige system, and, which will affect salvaging. Okay, I, I, I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, this change will also be in the decay of the items for more consistency and address many edge case scenarios where an item would decay as fast at fast rates due to usage, for example, high rate of fire weapons or abilities you deploy multiple times, resonating bolts, multi-turret, yada yada yada, or abilities you often use out of combat, afterburner and trailblaze. So this is a very good thing, because, you know, if you're, if you're, it, it doesn't make sense for it to decay unless it's actually doing something to the enemy. Frequency of melded gale smears in comparison to melded blood samples and melded muscle, the issue has been lowered. This should result in melted blood samples dropping more frequent. Okay, that's good. So they they normalized drops of the melded uh, tissues or uh, melded samples. Uh, Re-enabled visual spawn ability for arc porting effects. That's good. Loot power ups will use a different sound from other power ups. That's cool. Added more sounds, more bug fixes. So, so anything else that's really important? Not really. Okay, so let's hop right in, and we'll be right back. And we're back. Thank you for waiting while my uh, game loaded here. <coughs> I'm going to enter the world. I know it says select character right there, which tells me that it's likely that at some point in time in they're going to allow more than one. Oh, I love this reminder. Here. Avoid bullets. Those are bad. Down in the lower corner there. So now we are back here in Coco Cabana with, for some reason, kind of low resolution. Back to first person. Try your luck, spin and win. What's this? Oh, no, no, no. We don't gamble. Red bean vending machine. Yeah, I don't think, I don't even think I have. Yeah, no thanks. Um, it's so weird not having the centaur right here. Because it used to be right here. So let's collect up our stuff. Looks like they haven't implemented the new, uh... Oh cool, so our, our resources are, are clear. So let's go take a look at some of these, um... Some of the patch changes. 
Build in here to the sin tower. Oh, I like that. It's very subtle. Yeah, I really like that. It's very subtle. Okay, so that's using the same sound effect still. So let's go over here. And we're going to do a thump today. And these are fire cat. You guys haven't seen this guy yet, I don't think. I don't think I showed you this guy. This guy this guy's really cool. Uh he's not the easiest to to work around like the different quirks that he's got. Uh, I I believe I feel that that I have um I'm not going to say mastered him. I'm not going to say that I've mastered this uh this frame. I'm not even going to say that I know it super. Oh wow, they changed this a little bit. They changed the HUD for the for the glider. I I I don't know how much I like it. I think I like the old HUD better. Oh, one thing that I forgot to show y'all. This is really cool. Let's we get to the ground here. I'll show it off here. Uh, if you go into options. To interface. Where is it? Where is it? Radar, radio, radar. You can enable and disable parts of your stuff, which is really cool. Resource monitor. Okay, that's that there. Um, there. Okay, there's there's supposed to be it's under gameplay. That's my phone. So there's, um, or at least there was. I don't know if it's still here now. It should be. To phase battle frame selection. Charge bar. Block. Block. Yeah, that's down there. Combat. There was Oh, reticle manager. Here we go. You can change the way that your that your sights look on on your um on your hood. So, we're using a plasma cannon right now. So, we're going to show you show you what I'm talking about. See, right in the center of the screen. There's, there's that. So let's go into there and suppose we want this to, because it's kind of like a grenade launcher here. Look now. one thing kind of neat that we can do I, I like to keep them on their default but you can you can pretty much do whatever it is that you want to do it, it's all about it's all about how you want to do it oh 
Oh, here we go. Did you hear when I picked up the Christite? It was like, bing, bing. As opposed to the wink sound that you get. Alright, so let's get over here somewhere. Somewhere where we can do a thumper. And I can show you why it is that I, personally, like the, uh, like this, um, this, this, um, <coughs> this frame that I've got here for thumping as opposed to some of the others. Oh my goodness, phone! <coughs> oh, excuse me, dang. So let's go ahead and grab out our scan hammer. That's not what I want. There we go. And this is a chord property, so we can't thump here. They do that, uh, they have it set that way so that you can't um, use the, the guard NPCs to help you thump. Which, I, 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 I understand that. I can respect that. Let's see what we got here. We've got anabolics. Got here anything better? 13% anabolics. 13%. That's abysmal. No thanks. Got trace quantities. Can't do nothing there. Sixteen percent. Twenty percent anabolics. I don't think you can call down a thumper underneath these things here. I love the way this area looks. People think I'm crazy because of that. People are like, oh, I, you know, it's like Vishir and, and wow, how can you like that? I, I loved Vishir as a zone. I love the quest. I love the, 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 the swimming. Everyone's like, oh, it's a water level. Water levels suck. And while, yes, I will agree with you, water levels, for the most part, do suck. However... I think Vishir was done pretty well. And that's my opinion. You can either like it or you can ignore it. Oh, I mean, don't just my opinion on buy don't don't do nothing for life. Wow, five percent. Slim Pickens up here near the melding wall here today. Look at the arc light. They finally made it so that you can see it without gliding all the way over there from up top of Mushroom Rock. Oh man, how many people lost their lives. Is that ship crashing? All because of the freaking cho Chosen. Uh oh. Light on fire! Out them. Oh, someone's thumping over there. Definitely, I, li I like the new sounds. Definitely like the new sounds. They're, they're pretty good. Okay, so here's a perfect example to show you 
What happens when you try to thump to someone that's too close? You can actually see their thumper's waves coming at you. Because it's too close to another thumper, you can't drop it here. Like if you tried, you'll see it just, it just, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of good stuff. Just help out with this thumper a little bit here. Help him out just a little bit here. They want to invite us to the squad, so we're going to go ahead and do that. <coughs> So we got some people here in our squad now. We have Tovia. I have to remember these so I can put them in the description. Jeez, it's not much that I can actually... Whoa, hello. That was a big old bug. That was a big old bug. We got word 74%. And Captain Lunamort. I think I hit a button on accident. I don't know what I hit, though. What are they shooting at? Wow. Alright. Yes. <laughs> so many turrets, I can't shoot anything. Whoa. That's a big thumper. Let's go grab the healing rig. That way, in case anybody takes some damage, take care of it. And it is the dragonfly. I I love this frame. Not only does it look freaking cool. But it's got a rapid fire like friggin' rifle. Sounds really cool too. I love the way this thing sounds. Whew. 
And I get a cell phone, or not a cell phone, again. text message. So we've got the, uh, the, the, I forget what it's called, bio, bio rifle I think, the uh, alternate fire, the right click on this one, uh, gives you a, a burst of healy, healing, it's an AOE frontal cone heal, it's not super powerful, but it's okay, uh, we have a healing wave, which um, heals party members as well as gives a knockback to enemies and mobs the effective range on this bio on this uh, bio gun is really far Well, generally, I, I wouldn't recommend... Oh, oh, got a fireball coming? Yeah, I saw a firebug. Ah, yeah, there it is. I got him, too. Gotta kill these blue lobsters. Oh man, we got big old roly poly. Anti personnel turret. Whoa! We got Nautili. Sorry, I'm not talking so much. I'm I'm just trying not to die. <laughs> See, these turrets are doing the majority of the work for us, which is really nice. Uh, one thing to note. And using turrets, um, you do you get it, it? The turrets don't really have that great of a um, of a self-aiming system, so it is best. It is definitely best if um, if you mark the target using. I forget what, I don't know what the button is. I think it might be H or F to mark the target. And, oh, he's dropping another thumper. Okay, well, we're going to call it an episode here. We went over the patch notes, and we went over uh, thumping in a group, and that's, that's going to be that. Thank you for watching. Have a good afternoon. Be safe. Remember, um, if it's not on your side, keep it locked up. So I just wanted to explain a little bit uh, about what he's got going on here. Um, this uh, Tovia, he's using the Bastion engineering frame, which pretty much is, is he, he's a turret monger. Um, what that means is that more or less, and he's not actually not demonstrating that 
the turret monger part of him because he's being very active in seeking out the larger enemies and taking them out pretty much before the turrets even see them but pretty much what the bastion does is it throws down all of these turrets it's got all of these deployables that pretty much do most of the work for you now one thing that you have to do though is you have to keep them you have to keep the turrets alive which which can be pretty difficult to do that's why they give you this um, this pod right here which helps you which helps uh, keep the turrets up as well as does an AOE damage to enemies that enter its, its uh, field of action. Um, is that wall moving? Yeah, I think the melding wall was just moving. That's a terrifying sight. Whoa. Ninety seven per cent. take out some of the let's go take out these chosen oh no no don't crash there we go okay they got the drone So that's that's going to be it for real this time. Thank you all for watching. Be safe. Have a have a good afternoon. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe fadehost.com for the best Minecraft servers you'll ever have in your life. Uh this is Mr. Ramsey B. Thing. God, that was a beautiful ship before she crashed. It really was. <laughs>